Ellie, you were so clean a little bit ago. Oh, you look at you. Two twenty four. She calved yesterday. Three thirty one. Oh. I know you both didn't calf that one calf. Who done it? Is that a new calf too? Yeah, there's three new calves. Uh, and it's either five oh six or five eighty nine. Where's the other twin at? Uh, there's two up front. There's a set of twins in here and a pair, maybe even two pair. I don't remember. We've been having so many calves, but then last night three yeah. more calved. Oh, yeah. And then come in, in the barn this morning, three, three more. more calved and things were confusing. The worst part is that one that's licking a calf off, we don't think she's even calved yet. That doesn't help. And then not only that, those two are kind of angry and weren't fun getting up. This getting dirty. It's getting dirty in here. And it's getting difficult to clean out because of the mud in the lot. We're not going to be able to get the skid loader over here to clean it. So we're thinking later today, we're just going to make it deep, put more on top. Hopefully we can move some pairs. The other barn is full and we're probably going to be calving more throughout the day. So it's been pretty tough the last few days. I don't like moving them out when they're that young, but golly. They can't be staying in this type of stuff. Has anything calved out in the field? No. Okay. So we got that going for us. Yep. Also on the bright side. Moments ago, I was thinking, man, it's nice being dry and warm. Not anymore. Come on, girl. You didn't calf yet. You didn't do it. Starting to get a little damp in the back. Moist. So as you can see, we got her. One, two, three, four, five. In that side, she's gonna calf here in a bit. We got one, two, three cows in here, but four calves because someone had twins. We got a flopper down there, just got calved, and then we got another one there. So I lost count, but we're overflowing with claves, and we need help. We got enough claves to make a whole claving band, a band of claves. Clave band? Yep, claves. And then there's what, four? Oh, no, there's, there's four, five, six over there. Five cows and six calves. Yeah. Uh huh. I guess we better keep rolling today. I guess love was in the air nine months ago. There was something. Or hate for Brian and Cole. They say let's play a trick on them. We if, all if clave. We were, if we were still dry, we'd be loving all. Oh, that would be nice. Ellie don't carry the way. I don't think. Okay, so Dad and I just looked over what we have. We're not in the best position because a lot of these calves are young, but. We're calving hard right now, so we got to make room for more. What we do have going for us is it's not really that cold. Like, we're we're hitting, the lows are barely hitting freezing. Calves can easily handle that, even even newborns. We've seen it many times. Newborns can handle that. So these ones that got a day or two on them will be just fine. The next two days, highs are in the 50s, so it's going to be good. So we're going to move out every one of these new calves. By new, I mean about day old or a little bit more that we've seen suck. We know they have a decent bond with their mother. They're gonna be headed out to Kenny's, our other building site, because we gotta make room. And then we're gonna probably clean this building out. It needs clean. And then we're gonna shoot more bedding on top of that bedding in there, because we cannot get a skid loader in there. It just, <laughs> we would be stuck. Look at that cow, use that oiler. That's aggressive. I think, I think you're working it. Yeah, you got it. Looking at TikToks on my phone and dad just disappeared. Hopefully the sun decides to come out. I would be I would be happy as a clam. Which I, I've never seen a happy clam, but I'd be happy as a clam if the sun came out. You got some heat going. You got a lot of stuff to melt, a lot of places to dry off. Have you ever seen a clam that was happy? Looks like one of my heifers is in the trees way down here. The rest of the herd is down there, and then my two that capped, I can see they're way out in the cornfield with their calves. Of course, they're not going to the same pastures as my dad. The best thing we thought we could do for them is put them back out here where they got tons of area. They can find dry spots. You can see my one heifer, she's just starting to poke out of the trees over here. When I drove by, it looked like her tail was up, so might be something going on. She might have calved. 906. Well, that's the first one that calved. But there's still two heifers out there, so maybe one calved out here. But where is your baby? 
You got words? We're gonna have to buzz out to the corn stalks and see what's going on out there. So we gotta make sure she knows where her baby is. There had to have been something that calved out in the cornfield. Looks like it's licking it off right now, actually. So that one girl we got up earlier this morning, that's calved. It is just nuts in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just in here. <laughs> and then there's more over at the other. Time for a rodeo. Yeehaw. She knows we're coming. I'd say so. I'd... Wow. Is she intense? Do you want to wait a bit on that one? That's got to be a heifer. She said, <sighs> she's good. I bet she could get her head in a long ways. Yeah, probably. Oh. <laughs> We did it! Right. Yep. I think I mentioned it earlier. We have enough calves currently here to fill where we've been bringing calves to. It holds 35. There's already 26 over there. So then we only have one more building site left that we can put 20, actually 18 <sighs> pair at. The fact that one calved out in the corn stalks, this is going to be the healthiest place. After we get all these building sites filled, then we're just going to start after they calve kicking them out here so they have all this space. It's going to be the healthiest for them. They're just going to have to hang out here until pastures start greening up in a month and a half. All right, so these four are going, and then one from the pen in there, and then one from in here. There's a set of twins in there, and then one of my girls that she, of course, isn't going out to pasture yet. <laughs> Fellas, let's go. Their motors are turned in the opposite direction. She says, Irma Gerd, wear that afterbirth. She hears the trailer bounce and she's gonna go check it out. We'll probably clean that building today. I think, I think it's pretty dirty. It just stinks because, you know, with the current times, we could fill that building from zero to no vacancy in a day. There's one with a water bag out. So we're grabbing these two that calved from out here so we can bring those over to the other other farm that we just dropped those ones off at. Looks like we got, that one's got a water bag out. Hey. Hey. See if old Bob will start today. All right, come on. Knock. It's like 30 degrees, Bobcat. Come on. Doing good, sitting tight, chilling out. Make sure nobody's calving outside. Oh, even on the concrete, it's mushy. All right, what are the odds of that? It's in here. Oh, there's a little space back in this corner. 
We'll just have to chuck it. Always hold more. At least that's my motto when it comes to dessert. The sun is shining, keeping them calves a little bit warmer. I am a little afraid with the snow we got left, it's gonna get a little wetter before it starts getting drier. But we did clear some spots off, clear the snow off, so hopefully those are starting to dry up. You know, I, I don't have much of an argument with you, Ellie. You're dirty from your toes all the way up to here, and I had boots on, and I'm still dirty from my toes all the way up to there. Cow that we put in is coming along. Yeah, she had it, and it's sucking, so that's good. So there's six calves in here, at least four of them. Yeah, at least four of them need tags and stuff. Changed my mind. A little space right here. I'm gonna try to clean off where these heifers stand outside. Actually, most of them are cows now. Yeah, see if I can't pick up some of this jazz. Nap time. You're a mess. Go take a bath. Yeah, things pretty well spread around ready to load this thing up it's about one o'clock and we just we've been so busy we haven't been able to feed a couple of these so we gotta move them quick then we'll get some feed in them and then everything will be pretty well wrapped up because it doesn't seem like much has been calving lately and by lately i mean the last two hours yesterday we came out here got two up that were calving one was calving out there then before these two were both done something else started calving out here and i basically pulled the calf while the cow was standing up it was, it's just that time of the year. Everybody, this is kind of the peak, and it just so happened during the peak, we had a big snow melt. Hi friends, how you doing? Food. Four, I think, untagged in the barn. We're gonna deal with those, and three of them we're gonna move to this barn up here just so they're close by, and when they're ready to head out, we'll be able to shoot them right into the livestock trailer. And Cole just got new bedding in there for them, so they got it real nice. Um, we got, we're gonna try to just get the three calves, put them in the side by side. They won't walk through the slop that well, so we're just gonna put them in here. And then once we get those calves up, we're gonna work them and then throw the mothers outside chase and them chase up them up. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. that's the hope. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. It might be take Cole to the hospital because the angry cow would <laughs> bash his head. I hope not. shots it's slappy time well there was one it was this red one today I slapped it oh no that's half slappy Ooh. where you been where you been no but this other one I slapped this one today yeah. and half of it fell off Peace went flying. it's gone I really think that this is the way they should make them, maybe just a little longer. We'll slap it. How's the sound? It ain't the best. 
thought it was better than that. He was better last year. <laughs> Half slab, he's getting old. These calves have just been chilling the whole time. Cattle everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We took eight out. We got seven in here again. Okay. So 331 and 081 can go? Yeah. I'm just so happy the sun's out. It's the best day ever. Your babies are that way. And these next two go in there. Look, there's specks of dry. The battle's over. <laughs> oh wait, there's still a battle. Uh, there's a swimming pool, that's what that is. The tadpole home right I there. I think we got about enough close to calving ones up that we're gonna fill our fourth pasture already. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. As dad would say, she's got a swollen monkey. Really? <laughs> is that a trade secret? Is that something you don't want out there? I thought that was kind of something that I probably don't want the world to know I say, but whatever. I don't care. The gate's even open. Wow. So this is where Jeff and my cows were at a lot of the winter, and I was having to turn that water on and off every day, getting them water because that what would freeze up if we kept it going 24 7 on the treasure who broke oh i welded this up last year son of a dang cows i thought that thing was spick and span dang near brand new should be ready to bring some pears over here tomorrow get them out of the slot get them out of our way out of the barns there's some green poking up We've almost made it to spring. We're gonna go check on the cows out in the cornfield and also we gotta make sure my 906 heifer knows where her calf is. Yeah, and then it just mixes it, mixes a little soap with it when you... There she is. Oh, really? So that's a special deal. Yeah, it's, but just so you know, just so you know, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing when you just use the tip. Oh, really? Did I ever tell you about the time when I went to grade school, it was kindergarten through eighth, a little country school about three miles away. And that was the first time I learned about teamwork because we'd get out there for recess and there's about 30 or 40 of us and we'd get a couple five gallon pails of water and some baseball bats and we'd dump water down the gopher holes and then out come them gophers. There's 40 kids waiting. Those poor gophers didn't yeah, stand that, a chance. That's how we, no, they didn't. That's how we learned about teamwork. That's all I got to say about that. All right, we're going to shoot these two bales in here. Spread it out a little bit. Cows will spread a little better. But we got to put these two calves back in that. Because it's going to get dusty. We'll leave the light on for you. Grab that thing up to 3,000 RPM yeah. so it shoots it way back here. You're man enough to run both those, right? Not anymore. Back in my day, I used to run two pitchforks. I feel like that might be uh, time lapse worthy. How the heck are we gonna do this? <laughs> I can tell you one thing: the only way to get it done, one fork at a time. Oh, that's a good grab right there. Hey, can you get your head out of there? Can you? There you go. All right, hey. Who done it? We said no sweets. Who's eating grandma's cookies? I guess that's gonna be it for today's video. I think dad's ready to go in, are you? I thought maybe we'd go to Buckshot since mom's going getting the groceries. I'll go to Buckshot. Okay, let's go to Buckshot. Okay. Oh, well, we gotta put cows in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And we'll have have a good one. Thanks for all the help today. You were awesome. I know. That's all I got to say about that. I ain't as good as I once was. <laughs>